Hello, I'm Michael Loche. I'm the author of the best-selling book, Law of Attraction. And this podcast that you're about to listen to is Law of Attraction for Direct Sales, MLM, or Salespeople. You know, it's all about vibes, and the vibes that you're sending are either attracting or detracting people to your direct sales, MLM business, or your, um, uh, or your sales business. You know, my book, Law of Attraction, can help you with that because it's broken into two things. The very first part of the book teaches people how to stop attracting negative things. It's virtually impossible for you to attract good business when you have a negative vibe going on from maybe bad business. Maybe people aren't staying in your business or canceling, they're not reordering and they're not recommending you. That's causing you to give that attention, sending off the vibe. So the first part of the book, very important, not very not taught in a lot of places, A, let's stop attracting negative things. Then the second part is let's start attracting something deliberately. How about if you could use Law of Attraction, the three-step formula? There's three steps to the three-step formula. Step, step number one says identify what you desire. The podcast that you're about to listen to does two things. It's going to teach you how to stop attracting the things that you don't want in your business. Secondly, it's going to introduce you to the three-step process and walk you through step one using this worksheet. And by the time you're done the exercise, you'll have set a new vibration for your ideal customer, client, referral, or business partner. That's step one. I'm giving that away for free. It's very, very valuable information. You're going to learn how to reset your vibe so you can stop attracting what you don't want, start attracting what you do want. And for those of you that are stimulated and thinking, I want to do all three steps, you can go to the address below this screen, right inside uh, the, below the video in the description. There's the link. You can get two things. You can download the worksheets for this exercise, and you can also read more about the three-step formula. But do check out the first audio, today's audio, and it is for Direct Sales MLM Teach You How to Change Your Vibe so you can start attracting your ideal purchaser, client, customer, uh, whatever you need for your business. Enjoy the audio and share it with friends. Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Michael Loche. This is part one of a three-part series called It's All About Vibes. How to Use Law of Attraction Deliberately in Your Direct Sales Business. And, you know, I'm pretty excited that you're here. It's been a long time since um, I've taught a group of people this material, and it's been a long time since I've watched a lot of people apply it successfully in all areas of their life, both personal and professional. And um, when the title says it's all about vibes, that's what I mean. It's all about vibes. <laughs> So here's my promise to you. In this three-part series, you're going to clearly understand, first, what law of attraction is and how does it work and why am I attracting things that I don't want to be attracting because I know that you know that you are. Say yes or no if that's you. Yes. 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 What's up with that? How can positive people attract negative things? You're going to clearly understand that on this first call. Most importantly, you're going to, well, that's part one. Part one is how do I stop attracting negative things? Let's clean that up first. Part two, also in this series, is how can I be a deliberate attractor? Well, there's a key word buried within that sentence. How do you become a deliberate attractor? You need to be doing something, what do you think, something deliberate. deliberate. That's why it's called deliberate attraction, because right now, law of attractions that work in your life, whether you like it or not, or whether you believe it or not, or even whether you understand it or not, right now, even if you don't even like it, everything that you're attracting is because of the vibe that you're putting out, even though you deny putting that vibe out. And what do I mean by that anyway? So what is law of attraction? Well, I can't prove it to anybody I can't take a picture of it. I can't put it in a test tube. I can't put it in a Petri dish and email it to you all and do a live slideshow and say, here's law of attraction. Do you believe me now? But here's what I can promise. I can promise you that I'm going to give you what it takes for you to deliberately attract more of what you want and stop attracting what you don't want, and it's only going to take uh, your thoughts and your words. Are you, willing, are you in, yes or no? Yes. Yes. yes, that's yes. how easy it's going to be. And you know what? I know I can do it. I'm the how-to guy. Say yes if you read my book. Yes. 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 Would you say that the way I wrote it helped you learn it? Yes? Oh, yeah. yes. Okay, good. 
Well, guess what? On this call, we only have like three 30 or 40 minute calls, so I don't have a lot of time to teach you what's taken me years to master and learn. So I'd like to make an agreement. What if I use some techniques on this call and the next two calls that really 100% guaranteed that you'll integrate everything that I teach you on the 30, 40 minutes? Say yes if you're in. Yes. Yes. Matter of fact, I'm almost guaranteed that you're going to remember 100% of everything I say in the next 40 minutes, and I'm going to prove that at the very end. Would that be okay if I did that? Say yes or no. Yes. Yes. Okay. They're called accelerated learning techniques. What does that mean? Let's read it backwards. It's techniques that help you learn in an accelerated manner. I'll ask you again, would it be okay for you if I used techniques that help you learn quick and fast and retained everything? Say yes or no. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Well, sometimes I might get you to say yes or no once in a while. Is that okay? Say yes or no? Yes. 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 And sometimes I might even repeat myself. And sometimes I might even repeat myself. And when I do that, it's going to help integrate the information. That would be okay. Say yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay, good. And I know you all have a pen and paper because in the short period of time, I have a promise to you. Now you're going to know why Peg talks about me all the time. Because you're going to get it like she's got it and has it and teaches it. So welcome, everybody. First thing I want to do is tell you the definition for law of attraction. It states, I attract to my life and my business, and that's what we're, you know, it's, this is going to apply to all areas, so we're not going to uh, not talk about one. I, I attract to my life and my business whatever I give my attention, energy, and focus to. And you're thinking, well, that's pretty easy. I just need to give it attention, energy, and focus, and I can attract it? And I said, yeah, absolutely. But I'm not done the sentence. Here's the rest of it. Whether negative or positive. Well, that doesn't seem very fair. Why would law of attraction or why would the universe bring me something I didn't want? Because the universe or law of attraction isn't very smart. It only has one job. Law of Attraction only has one job. I want you to write this down. It's a two-word job description. I know we've all seen the longer job descriptions where there's a hundred itemized things that your job description includes, but the one for Law of Attraction is simple. Two words. Say it after me. Match. Match. Vibrations. Vibrations. Help want it. Job description. Match vibrations. So, well, that's a pretty, that's kind of a no-brainer, isn't it? So I don't have to decide whether it's a good or bad vibration, yes or no? No. Now, do I only match good vibrations? No. Do I only match bad vibrations? No. 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 What's my job? I'm confused. Just match them. You don't need a brain. You don't need a conscious. You don't need to make decisions. You don't need to decide. You don't have to have favoritism, and you don't have to be prejudiced. You have to be obedient. Whatever the vibration is that you're picking up, you being law of attraction, you have one job to match the vibration. And right now and right now and right now, whether you like it or not or believe it or not or even understand it or not, all of us have a vibration. How do I know that? Because all of us have a mood or a feeling. And what is a vibration? Is a mood or a feeling. I want you to write that down. A vibration is a mood or a feeling. Here's my next skill testing question. When do we have a mood or a feeling? All the time. All the time, right now, right now, right now, even if you don't even know that you have one. Even if you don't even know what it's called, right now, right now, right now, everybody has a mood or a feeling. So that means right now, right now, you're all putting out, sending out, or emitting, and not even trying to do it on purpose, but you're all sending out a vibe. Is it true that you could stand beside somebody and pick up their negative vibe, yes or no? Yes. Yeah, so a vibe isn't something that you taste or eat or smell or touch or hear. A vibe is something that you... Feel, and there's only two kinds of vibes. This is easy. There's negative vibes and positive vibes. Simple, simple, simple. Let's, let's hear this equation again. At every moment, including right now and right now and right now, all of us are putting off a positive or negative vibe, even if we're not doing it on purpose. Is it something we're thinking about or talking about or observing or wondering or daydreaming or pretending or worrying? What is causing me to have those thoughts or to causing me to have the vibration? And I can only have two of them, and it's positive or negative. And why do I need to know about that? Because the law of attraction is eavesdropping right now. And as it's eavesdropping, it's unfolding and orchestrating to bring you more of the same vibration that you were sending. 
So you could look at something and say, wow, look at this. I attracted this. This is here because of me and get all excited about it. You can also point at the negative things and say, hey, look what I just attracted. This is here because of me. Everything you're attracting is because of law of attraction. Whether you like it or not or believe it or not or understand it or not. So the importance for you to find out what is, what is my vibrational blueprint, what are the vibes that I'm sending? Well, I can tell you the answer to that from here. If you're curious and you want to know what the vibes that you're sending about your direct sales business, go to the business and take a look and see how you're doing. It's a perfect match. Oh, you want to know how you're, what the vibes you're sending off about uh, attracting more money? Well, open your wallet. It's a perfect match. You want to know uh, what the vibes are you're sending about attracting your ideal boyfriend or girlfriend? How's that working for you? Oh, it's a good thing I didn't invent it. Everybody would be angry at me. Here's the rule. It's pretty simple. If you've attracted it, you have had to have sent a like, it, a like vibration. And right now, law of attraction is eavesdropping, and it's picking up a vibration, picking up a vibration. So how does this relate in your life? Okay, I know it's not you, but it could be somebody, maybe somebody in uh, the direct sales business or a friend of ours, and we go to a coffee shop, and we already know they have negative vibes. We can tell by how we how we feel. <laughs> it's like, oh, it feels like we have to lower our dial to match theirs. Have we all done that before? Say yes or no. Yeah. yeah. Okay. My hunch is some of you are still doing it. You're lowering your dial to meet the other person's. So you know their business isn't doing very well. You can hear it in their words. You can hear it in their results. And you know the secret. And the secret is it's all about vibes. And the vibration that they're sending is what they're getting. And if they complain and tell ten friends about what they're getting, they're giving it more attention, energy, and focus. The equation's simple. If you attracted it, you have sent the vibration that created it. There's only two kinds, negative and positive, and right now they're both being responded to by law of attraction. Now, there's words in our vocabulary that are causing us to attract things that we don't want. So on your pad of paper, I want you to take four boxes the size of kind of a package of matches and draw them from the left-hand side to the right-hand side of your page. Four match box size boxes. In the first box, I want you to write the word words. It's a box of words. You know, I took a dictionary, I shook it upside down, and all the words fell into this box. Now, I'm going to reach inside the box of words. I'm going to pull out a bunch of words, and I'm going to string them together. And now those strung together words have formed a what? A, a thought or a sentence. So box number two, write the word thought. Hey, what's my thought made up of? It's made up of words. So there's words, the words form thoughts that I have, and when I have a thought, it causes me to have a feeling. feeling. And what word are we using today? Vibe. A vibe, that's what it is, right? So it causes me to have a vibe. Under, in box number three, write the word vibe, and what are the two symbols underneath the word vibe, positive and negative? So let's just take a look at the first three. Let's go to the third box right away. First, how do you know that you're sending a negative vibe? You can tell by how? You can tell by how you feel, and you're thinking, hmm, I wonder where this negative vibe came from. I don't know. Let's peek behind the box behind us. Where did the negative vibe came from? Oh, it came from a negative thought that I was having. Well, what was inside the negative thought that caused the negative vibe? Words. Now, we might have known that already, thinking, oh, yeah, that's a negative thought or that's a positive thought. But what we learned today is significant. Some of you are already known, of course. But now, law of attraction is eavesdropping in box number three. And when it finds the vibration that is being sent in box number three, what does law of attraction obediently do to it? Matches. It matches it. And then what's box number four? We get our what? Results. Results. Go to box number four, write the word results. What are the two kinds of results I can get? Positive and negative. So let's go to the fourth box and take a look and reach deep inside a results box and say, hey, what are my results with the team members that I'm attracting? Hmm, I'm looking inside my results box and oh, not very good. Well, why, they, why is that the results that I'm getting? I don't know. Let's walk backwards. 
the results that I'm getting are matching the vibration that I'm sending. Well, what is the vibration I'm sending? I don't know. What are the thoughts that I'm thinking about my team members? And what are the words that I'm using to describe them and so on? Are you all understanding the direct relationship between the words and the thoughts, how they turn to vibes and how they form results, yes or no? Yes. 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 I want you to write this down. The only way to get different results, the only way to get different results is to send a different vibration. I'll say it one more time. The only way to get different results is to send a different vibration. Look at the four boxes. I mean, yeah, hello, it makes sense. Oh, you want to have different results? Uh, let's see. How do I change that? Well, I have to go back to my vibe. By the way, if you like the results that you're getting, how could, what could you do as a good tool, a little habit to get into? You could do what? Well, you could get excited about it and celebrate it and tell 10 friends and say, I love my life.com and go out there and put all the great stuff that's happening in your life. And in your celebration of the positive results, it causes you to send the vibration of positive results. And when law of attraction is eavesdropping on your vibration, it caught you sending the vibration of positive results, which caused you to get more positive results. Say yes if you know where I'm going with this. Yes. 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 If you're curious and you want to know what the vibration is that you're sending in any area of your life right now, go to that area and take a look and see what you're getting. It's a perfect match. In comes a big circle the size of a golf ball underneath those four boxes, a golf ball circle. Inside that circle, I want you to write the word reset, R-E-S-E-T. What did you just draw? A reset button. A reset button. Say yes if you love a reset button. Yeah, yeah, Ooh, yeah. I love me a reset button. Hey, something breaks down in my house, I'm turning it upside down looking for the reset button because my unconscious and conscious mind tells me when it says reset, it's really doing what to it? It's fixing it, making it better, changing it. Say yes if you're in. Yes. 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 Did you know that you had an internal reset button? Did you know that you could look in your results box and say, I don't like the results I'm getting. Boy, I wish I could reset B. Say yes if you said that or wish you had said that or glad that I'm going to tell you how to say that. Say yes or no. Oh, I'm so excited. This is the news. This is the news is all about this. It's that we can take a look in any area of our life and we can celebrate it if we like it. And if we don't like it, we can say, Ooh, I sure wish I had a reset button to fix this. Well, guess what? You do. So if I was able to tell you how to press your reset button so you get different results, are you willing to practice it, say yes or no? Yes. 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 Very good. Now, here's the funny part. You're going to tell me how to reset. Hey, let's go to box number four. Reach deep inside box number four. Now I'm looking at my future partner results. Oh, they look a little grim. I don't have any leads, and I'm kind of scared, and whatever that thoughts or negative vibration is. And I catch myself sending the negative vibration. And when I'm sending the negative vibration, law of attraction is matching. And when law of attraction matches it, I keep getting those same results from my future partners. And, oh, boy, I need to do what? I need to press my reset. I need to press my reset button. So if I want to reset my results, I need to back up and reset my what? Vibration. And if I want to... If I want to reset my vibration, I need to reset my what? Thoughts. thoughts. And if I want to reset my thoughts, I need to reset the words that I'm using. Is it this easy? Y-E-S. Is it going to take training behavior? Y-E-S. Are you going to hear my voice in your head for now and for the rest of your life? Probably. Y-E-S. Indeed. Indeed. And that's a good thing. Now, I've got some very good news for you. I'm going to identify the three words that are in your word box that are causing you to get negative results. And if you knew that the elimination of these three words would eliminate you giving attention to what you don't watch, which would eliminate you setting a negative vibration in your delicious business, would you be willing to eliminate these three words, say yes or no? Yes. yes. Yeah. We'll see about that. <laughs> I want you to draw three brand-new boxes the size of match cartons, match boxes. I'm going to give you the three words. Wouldn't it be nice if they were foreign words and you never used them? It's like, ah, oh, that was in Spanish. I never say that. Well, guess what? They're in everybody's languages, and you, too, may be using them 300 times before noon and then wonder why your life's falling apart. 
here's the three words that are causing you to give attention to what you don't want. And when you give attention to what you don't want, the obedient law of attraction unfolds and orchestrates to give you more of what you gave your attention to. And then you manifest more of it. I promise you the elimination and reduction of these three words will change your life. Are you in? Say yes or no. Yes. 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 Here's the three words. The first word is don't. The second word is not. I will spell it. N O T. Hey, the third word's only two letters long. How could it screw up my life? What is it? No. 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 Don't, not, and no. Wow, well, those words aren't negative within themselves. What do I give attention to when I said, I don't want this to be difficult? What did I give attention to? I want this. Difficult. Difficulty. Th this is not a scam. What did you hear? Yeah. Don't be disappointed. What did you hear? Disappointed. Yeah. Disappointed. Don't be scared. Don't be embarrassed. Well, I wasn't until you brought it up. <laughs> Don't be ashamed. I wasn't until you brought that up. Every time I use the word don't, not, and no, you cannot not give it attention, energy, and focus. So if I were to say to you, don't picture this, don't picture this, sorry. if I could say to you, don't picture the Statue of Liberty, I know that you know that you could not not say yes or no. You could not not picture the Statue of Liberty when I said don't picture the Statue of Liberty. And your unconscious conscious mind strips away the words don't, not, and no, and now you brought attention to what you didn't want to bring attention to. Go to the Internet and type in no football and see what shows up. The Internet strips away the words don't, not, and no. Go type in what you don't want and see what, the, see what the Internet finds. Law of attraction is like a vibrational Google. Whatever you input vibrationally through your words and your thoughts, law of attraction will match it obediently. And if it's something you gave attention to that you don't want, law of attraction will match it obediently, just like Google will. So if you want to change the results that you're getting when you do a Google search, what do you have to change? You have to change the input. If you want to change the results that you're getting in your direct sales business, then you need to change the input. It's free and it's easy. Say yes if you love that. Yes. It's two things. What is it? Free and easy. It's free and easy. My job is to teach you how to be a deliberate sender of your vibes. Say yes if you're in. Yes. 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 Will law of attraction know where the vibes came from? No. No. It doesn't care. It doesn't have any feelings. <laughs> Here's a vibe. What do I do with it? Quickly tell me. Match it. Here's a vibe. What do I do with it? Quickly tell me. Match it. But <clears throat> we need to help our friend that's in the business that has invited us for lunch. And don't we know, don't we know we have to bring our vibrational meter reader and dial our vibration up just to go there? We already know what it's about. Our friend's gonna complain a lot about their results. And we're just gonna help them really quickly. It's okay to listen to it really quickly. So we're gonna do step one of the three-step process for deliberately attracting anything. First thing I want you to write at the top of a new page the three-step process for deliberate attraction. The three-step process, or process, depending on which country you're in, <laughs> for deliberate attraction. Now, here's my skill testing question. Is law of attraction already at work right now, even if you're not I'm doing anything deliberately? Yes. Yeah, so I kind of call that non-deliberate attraction. I mean, I'm not even doing it deliberately. I'm getting law of attraction. It's like default law of attraction. If I want to tap into law of attraction deliberately, that means if I want to, if I want to get the results, if I, in the four boxes, if I want to manifest results, then I can calculate my words and calculate my thoughts and calculate my vibrations. And law of attraction doesn't know where the vibration's coming from for box three. It only does what to it when it finds it. Match. Say yes if you love that. Yes. yes. So I'm going to teach you how to be a deliberate sender of the vibration of the way you want it to be. We're meeting our friend in the coffee shop. We're going to go through this three-step process in the next three classes. Write down step one. Identify my desire. We're going to work on that today. What do you want? Oh, I don't want this and I don't want that. I don't want this. Oh, really? 
Go place that order um, on Google and see what you get. How about ordering your next pizza and telling them everything you don't want? How about telling the server everything that you don't want? How about telling your dog you don't want to go for a walk as it's wagging its tail because it heard the word walk? <laughs> Step number one is I don't know what I want. Do we know what we don't like? You bet. Yes. Yes. We're going to use that to help us birth what we do like. Oh, so we're in the restaurant now. I just saw our friend coming down the sidewalk. Oh, thank God at this particular restaurant they have paper placemats. So I want you to take a paper placemat like me, draw a line down the middle of the paper placemat. So I have a left column and a right column. On the top, the, the very top right, let's write my ideal team member. My ideal team member. On the left-hand side, that column is called contrast. So let's give it a title, call it contrast. And on the right-hand side, clarity. Under contrast, I want you to pre-number 1 to 10. So 1 underneath it, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so our friend's about to sit down. They're in the business that we're in. We know they're getting really, really horrible results. We don't need to hear the story again and again and again. This is the best thing that you can do. Will it serve them or you to buy into their boohoo story? No. 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 Will Law of Attraction know that you're just listening to somebody else's boohoo story, or will it match it? No. No. Say it again. It'll match it. Law of Attraction doesn't know why you're sending the vibration of a boohoo story. It doesn't know that you're complaining or remembering or observing or listening or reading or writing about it. It's picking up the vibration that you're sending when you do it. You have one job is to mind your vibration. You have the right to say, when somebody keeps talking about what they don't want, you have the right to reset the reset button. I told you what the three words are. They're the ones that you're going to eliminate between now and the rest of your life. But I didn't tell you how to do it. Every time you use the words don't, not, and no, I want you to write this sentence down in big capital letters. So what do I want? Repeat that. So what do, so I, what want? do I want? Thank you. So what do I want? Every time you catch yourself using the words don't, not, and no, and my promise is you will over in the next couple of days or earlier, but every time you use the word, the word don't, not, and no in that very moment, you're going to say, so what do I want? Some of you are going to picture the so what do I want. Some of you are going to hear my voice in your head, hear your own voice, or even picture it written down, but you're going to say, so what do I want? Now draw another circle the size of a golf ball. Inside of it, write these three words on top of each other, don't, not, and no inside of a circle the size of a golf ball. Now, draw the international do not use symbol, like the no smoking symbol, the little bar through that. Draw a big fat bar through the words don't, not, and no. And every time you see the word or go to use the word, think about using the word don't, not, and no. In that very moment, Michael Loche's voice might come to your head and say, what so? What do, what, I, what want? do I want? And here's why you need to know this. When I go from what I don't want to what I do want, the words change. When the words change, the vibration changes. And when the vibration changes, what else changes? The results. The results. And how many vibrations can I have at any one time? One. one. Okay, our friend's about to sit down. We've already, we've, I'm whispering like they're listening. Our friend's about to sit down. We've already taken the worksheet. They don't know it's a worksheet, but it's our, it's our little personal guide to help them get clear about what they want. Okay, so they just sat down, and right away we know they're having one heck of a time. I'm only going to ask our friend 10 things for the, our time limit, but when you do yours, I want you to come up with 10 or 20 or 30. Somebody finish this sentence for me. The more contrast I get, the more what I'll get? Clarity. The more clarity. I'm only doing 10 with our friend because, because of time. Our friend sits down, we have a little bit of personal chit-chat, and then I want to go right into the interview, and we're talking about our friend's ideal team member. I'm saying, so tell me about something that you've been attracting that you don't like. That's contrast. And our friend says what right away? The team members they're attracting, they don't what? Uh, they're not teachable. Yeah, so, okay, number one, they're not teachable. 
Oh, that's too bad. You know, what else don't what else don't you like? Uh, people not meeting requirements. They, yeah, they're not meeting the requirements. Wow, that's too bad. I know the last few people I taught, they're not teachable. They're not meeting the requirements. Some of them are not returning my phone calls. Number three, not returning phone calls. What else don't you like about what's going on? They're not motivated. Yeah, they're not motivated when they say they want to work. As a matter of fact, some of them don't even do the work. Number five, they don't do the work. Wow, that's pretty bad. What else don't you like? They simply they don't say know they're how too to busy. allow their good. Yeah, they don't know how to allow their own good. They don't know how to allow their own good. What else? They don't apply what they've learned. Okay, they don't apply what they've learned. What else? They don't do what they say they're going to do. They don't do what they say they're going to do. It's like, oh, can you feel the energy at this table? They know it all, so they're unable to admit their mistakes and learn. Okay, they know it all. That's one thing. Number 10, I want to say they don't admit they have the mistakes. They're scared. Now, my friend doesn't know this, but you know how when you go to the doctor's office and you get blood work done and then you get a blood result re report lab, a lab report? Say yes if you know what I'm talking about. Yes. yes. Yeah, there's a there's a, a lab report, and you know what? I think the doctor just came to the door and is handing me my friend's lab report because we had my friend's vibration checked. Just hold on. Thank you, doctor. I'll take that. Thank you. The results are in. Here's the vibration that our friend is sending about team members. They're not teachable. They're not meeting requirements. They don't return phone calls. They're not made about it. They don't do the work. They don't allow the goodness. They don't apply what they uh, know. They don't do what they say they're going to do. They know it all, and they don't uh, learn from their mistakes. That is the vibration that our friend is holding about team members. Well, well, well. Did you know you get what you vibrate? Say yes if you're seeing the match between the vibration that is being sent to the words that are being used. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Law of attraction could not buck this current or this vibration if it tried. It could only do what to it? Match it. Match it. It's like, ooh, this sure is ugly. <laughs> yeah, that's ugly. That's your vibration. This is your vibrational report. Well, that's not what I want. No, well, law of attraction doesn't know whether you want it or don't want it. And then you start to see the patterns. You say, well, you know, the last four team members, they gave me the runaround on the phone. You know why? Because I complained about it every day. I complained about getting the runaround every day. It was my biggest angst. I knew it would happen. And every time it happened, you know what I said? I knew that would happen. And then sometimes when I would attract the, that team member, that thing that I didn't like about them, you know what I would say? That is exactly what I thought was going to happen. Exactly. I've been saying all week they were going to do that. Say yes if you see a direct reflection and correlation between what you say is what you vibrate is what you get. Say yes or no. Yes. yes. Imagine anybody sending the vibration of this being their ideal team member. I know that you know that I know that you know it's not what they want, but it's what they're vibrating. We're going to help our friend at the lunch table go from what they don't want to what they do want, asking them that oh-so-famous question. What is it? So what, do so, what do so what do I want? Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to ask my friend. So you keep attracting team members that are not teachable. So what do you want? Somebody be my friend? Somebody who is teachable. Yeah, someone that's teachable. Okay, cross off not teachable. Are we done observing that? Yes. Yes. Uh, they're not meeting the requirements. So what do you want? Meet requirements. Yeah. Well, it's kind of opposite, but let's do it anyway. Meets requirements. They're not returning phone calls. So what do you want? Promptly returning calls. Yeah, promptly returning calls. They're not motivated. So what do you want? Highly motivated. Now, just hang on for a minute. 
would this make an ideal team member just so far would this make an ideal team member one that's teachable one that meets requirements one that promptly returns phone call and one that's highly motivated say yes or no Yes. We only needed to uncover the first four pieces of contrast to birth the first four. People say, oh, I don't want to write the contrast down. Build a bridge and get over it. It's important. The best way to know what you do want is to know what you don't want. It might feel ugly and messy and ugly, but it's briefly. It's okay to observe it briefly. Say yes if you got value from observing somebody else's or your own contrast, yes or no. Yes. The only way to get clear about something is to know what you don't want. The only way to know what you don't want is to observe the contrast that you're experiencing. It's okay to experience contrast. Just do it briefly. Just do it briefly. So your homework is to do your own list. Oh, by the way, do you want to borrow this person's clarity? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, the very first step in this three-step process says identify what I do want. Would you say that when you complete this for your ideal team member that you'll have built a clarity list of your ideal team members? Say yes or no. Yes. 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 Now, I did mine on a piece of loose paper. I'm just going to tear it out. I'm going to fold it over so I just see the clarity side. Do we need to keep observing the contrast once we birth its clarity? No. no. So you can no. fold it over and stop looking at it. But now, for the first time, some of you might have your ideal team member. And my ideal team member is teachable, and they meet requirements, and they promptly return phone calls, and they're highly motivated. Is this a promise that you're going to attract them? No. We're not there yet. What is the purpose of this exercise is to do what? Get clarity. Get clarity. Will this worksheet help you get clear about your ideal team member? Yes. 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 Once you've mastered this three-step process, you could do it again for my ideal future partner, my ideal customer, my ideal networking opportunity. Can you see where you would want to use this in other areas of your business? Say yes or no. Yes. Yes. So I want you to stay with this one subject that we're doing, my ideal team member. I want you to come up with as much contrast as possible. And if you're stuck and you can't think about somebody, go back five people ago or six. You know, it doesn't mean you had to dislike them, but what was one little thing that irritated you about them? Or maybe they took too long to do this. Or, you know, it doesn't mean you're being negative. You're just quickly observing different elements about what you've been attracting. Because if you don't address the, the contrast, is it still hanging out there even though it's not addressed? Yes, it's just it's, it's, that vibration's hanging. So when I say, I don't like this, here's what I do want, then that cleans up all these little niggly vibrations that are kind of floating around. It's part of your vibrational blueprint. Okay, here's what I'd like to do is remind you of your homework. It's to complete your clarity through contrast worksheet for your ideal team member. When you're done, I want you to fold your page over. Matter of fact, I'd even like you to type this list out and send it to yourself. Would that be a worthwhile exercise to give this more attention, energy, and focus? Yes. You bet it will. And then in class number two, we're going to do step number two, which is how do I give this new desire attention? And in doing so, it causes me to create the vibration. So in the four boxes right now, we're working on words and thoughts. We've got the words and the thoughts lined up, so we're having nice positive vibrations about what it is that we want. How would like to end tonight? How would like to end uh, this class? I'd like to hear from five people. And what was something that you got tonight that was your aha moment, or something that excited you, or something you see yourself doing right away? I'd like to hear from five people. Remembering to state your first name. Who'd like to go first? Uh, this is Vince. Hey Vince, go ahead. Uh, wow. I, what I learned is um, how much I was um, chewing on the contrast uh, during the day, and I can see how that wasn't uh, serving me or other people. Wow. Okay. Yes. Oh, good for you. Now you get your reset button. Thanks, Vince. Who is next? Rod. I heard Rod. Go ahead, Rod. Yes. Yeah, thanks. How many times a day I probably have said, don't, not, no. So my new words are, so what do I Yes, make it your new password and put a little button on your computer with the word don't, not, and no with the circle through it. Because I know you want to hear my head say, so what do you want? Every time you see the word don't, not, and no, say yes or no. Yes. 
Yes. Matter of fact, you cannot not hear my voice say, so what do you want whenever you see the word don't know how to know. <laughs> Thanks, Rod. Who'd like to go next? This is Gail. Hey, Gail, go ahead, please. Uh, my aha moment was your illustration about Google. Okay. Basically garbage in, garbage out, or good in, good out. Yes. That was very helpful to me. Good, and change the results. You need to change the what? The words, the vibe, and the... Yeah, the input. Yeah, applies to Google and to Law of Attraction. Thanks, Gail. Two more people. Who's next? Tracy. I heard Tracy. Who was the gentleman after Tracy? Dan. Dan. Okay, go ahead, Tracy, and then Dan. Okay, I I like the um, the demonstration of the four boxes: the words, the thoughts, the feelings, and the results. And then how easy it, it is to actually define how you did get the results if you did not like it for you to easily go back to the feeling than if you need to go back to the thought. Yeah, like, yeah, how far do I need to go back to change the vibration? Good stuff. Thanks, Tracy. And Dan, go ahead. Michael, uh, for me it was really getting to the clarity by going through the contrast and really going through that process, really clearing out the old and bringing in that new vibration. You can feel that shift. You can feel the excitement, the energy change as you go through that process thus sending out that positive vibe. It was a great experience. Oh, great. Well, thank you. And for everybody else, I want you to pay attention over the next few days at how much you are using the word don't, not, and no. But I want you to be gentle with yourself. You've already been doing it already and all along and maybe not have been aware of it. Having more awareness that you're doing it is really the process where you can change it by saying, so what do I want? And I can make promise, I can promise you that your results will change. And how can I be so promising? <laughs> because that's the law. Law of attraction states when you change your vibration, you change your results. And today you learn one of the most important things that's causing you to give attention to what you don't want. And it's the use of the words don't, not, and no, causing you to give attention to what you don't want to give attention to. So be alert and pay attention and be gentle when you catch yourself using the words don't, not, and no, and, and have fun with it. And we'll hear you in class number two when we're talking about how to give attention to this new desire that I just birthed.